running the light. Good. Well, we're out for a road trip. Going to pick up a chest freezer from my folks' place. Had a little bit of rain shower, but it's come and gone. So we'll record the trip to and fro. That ought to be fun. Yep, it's free, so it's for me. Yeah, kids down there playing soccer, it looks like, in the rain. Beautiful. Fun times. Yeah, got the old Dodge truck out. Second road trip. Doing real good. Aside from the ball joints making a racket. Yeah, hear that squeaking? That's the ball joints. Take this road all the way to the four lane. Hop over the railroad tracks. Yeah, not too bad. It's supposed to be near 70 today. St. Patrick's Day festival or festivities may be going on this evening, but again, the rain could be a factor. So it may, may not happen. But we'll see. Oh, we got the green light. I don't know if it's going to work with me though. Nope, it will not. getting out of my way that's fine what's gas 219 yeah I'm still sitting on three quarters of a tank and back in September of last year I think when we had the hurricane or whatever that we thought was gonna hit us and did not that's the gas that's been in this thing since then so yeah it's about six seven months old yeah but I'll probably burn up about half of it on this trip at least a quarter for sure what we got over at the shady car lot there. Looks like there's a dune buggy under cover behind the blue beamer. There's a fur pick em up, old var, fur by fur. Yeah, we got a couple of vets and a Camaro. Oh, isn't that fancy? Yep, probably wanting ridiculous prices for them. Just awesome. All right, back on the road. folks briefly and they said yep the freezer's already been delivered to their place so all I gotta do is pick up the old one it's pretty good got it from Lowe's and I don't think I mentioned that but they called my cell phone to let them know or let me know that it's being delivered so my dad and I have the same names basically but uh, for some reason they got their address but got my phone number for a contact so they call me hey the, refree the freezer it's one of those automated calls it will be delivered from 8 to 12 okay so I had to call them to let them know hey your freezer is gonna be delivered from 8 to 12 luckily they went ahead and called to make sure they weren't going to deliver it to my place <laughs> which they didn't they delivered it to the right address but it's still funny that they pulled up my contact number for uh, you know to let me know that you know about the delivery it was just kind of funny I thought yeah, a fancy Sienna with all sorts of hippie stickers on it run art kh whatever that is and a sticker that says hiked it liked it okay looks like 13.1 26.2 whatever no freaking clue what all those stickers mean but whatever dude okay now we're finally rolling 
There's a car wash I could probably take the truck to. $16.95, full service. Might actually be worth it for this dirty old truck, but nah, I might experiment with my pressure washer and uh, clean it that way. And there's somebody pulling a big old boat. Ebo going the wrong direction, though. The lake's where I'm going. Oh yeah, and another side note, my parents sold their 52 Chevy. Of course, they don't. They wouldn't tell me how much they sold it for. But uh, yeah, sold it to somebody, I guess up in North Carolina, that's going to restore it, or it sounds to me like he might be flipping it for a profit. So, yep, yeah. nickname Russell. That was my grandfather's name, who I never knew. My mom's dad passed away when she was only 12. But, uh, yep. So, it was, I guess, becoming a money pit for them. They were, I think they had dumped a good bit in, you know, for carburetor work, transmission. Wow, this is slow navigator in front of this truck. I don't know what his problem is. I hope he's not going straight because it's going to be a long trip. But, yep, they decided to, to let it go. I guess they had their fun with the, uh, with, you know, a project vehicle. I used to have those back in the 90s, and they are. They're, they're a bit of a, a money pit. Finally getting out of the way. Good. And this one's going left. All right. Mickey D's. Yep, they're still busy. Gas is 219 at the old shell. Man. Yeah, I think I can't remember. I filled this up when it was probably around the same price, like two and a quarter maybe. Can't remember. It's been a long time. There's the old Goodwill. Yeah, that one's going shopping. Carry on smartly. I'm going this way. RVs. Eh, fancy. Yeah, they need to widen this road or fix it. There's enough potholes and rough spots. Not fun. Ball joints squeaking the way they are. Another junk house. Yeah, we got a big old truck going by. A lot of people going the other direction. We lost their log. Ranger pulling out in front of me. Awesome. Oh man. It's doing good too. But no, no. It's stuck behind a slow Ranger. Oh boy, we got ourselves a yard sale going on here. Junk for sale. He's got some trash in the back of his old Ranger Danger there. No idea. He's going slow like it's going to spill out or something. Well, let's check out the old boat repo lot, shall we? A lot of trailers, pontoon boats, ski boats. 
Yeah, one's for sale. Woo! Yeah, the bold peanut man's not here today. Oh, darn the luck. Home, house, still abandoned. Huh. Smile, you're on camera. How about that? Got a hay bale with a horsey. Check out the old gallon auto sales. Got a stang and a bug. And the same old Corvette that's been sitting there for ages. And yeah, this guy's going slow as all get out. Of course, we can't pass them because there's too many cars coming the other direction. Perfect. All right, got around the slow ass. We'll check out the next boat lot and RV lot. Woo! A couple of cars. Looks like a Jag and a Corvette for sale. Woo! Dump. Nice. Tire came off that truck. Awesome. <laughs> Fancy house with a big old tall garage. Must have stored a big boat at one time. We got ourselves a Winnebago over. A oh, lovely road. Of course, they won't fix it anytime soon. Bunch of logs. They're bringing out this way. Our local museum. Pretty fancy looking. <laughs> Another rough spot, awesome. Man, roads remind me of Mexico. And that's saying something. I know they've hiked up our gas tax to go towards road improvements and stuff like that, but they're a little slow on uh, fixing this road. They need to widen it is what they need to do. That'd be nice. Coming up on the old pasture, we'll see if we see any moo cows. That's so far. Just barren land. Where the old cows are. Gotta get them fed to make that Angus beef and hamburger meat and steaks and milk all the good healthy stuff nope no cows out today still a pretty scenic view well, that there is a dirty old van a fancy yellow light on top almost looks like one of them prison vans <laughs> Don't see no prisoners in it. I guess that's a good thing. All right, let's roll. Yeah, a little bit of traffic, not too bad. Big old dump truck will be passing by. A Goodyear tar truck. Oh yeah, big dumpy. some horsies. Not bear horsies. And a tractor for sale. Wee -wee. Fancy looking Jeep. Yep, we're catching up on more traffic. Awesome. Well, turn's coming up so we won't get around any of this traffic. Well, that's good. Y'all go straight. I'm making my turn. Alright. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, fancy staying.
deer next three miles. Probably won't see any. Hug the old shoulder here. Down the old back road. Hopefully cleared out, but we still might have some spotty showers. Uh, take a look at some fancy houses. The old palm tree cove division. No yards. It's just too close for comfort for me. <laughs> Check out the rest of the road coming up on the major cracked up part. Oh yeah, still looking falling apart still. One day I guess they'll redo it, but not today. And the lake. Well, you fancy. Alright. Well, about here. I'll go ahead and get this freezer loaded up. And we'll head on back. And the log cabin. Why not? Another shot of it. Beautiful, it needs hosed out. Yeah, I can take care of that. Pretty nice, about a seven cubic foot. It's a Magic Chef, bought in 2015, 6.9. Nice. All right, we're tied down, loaded up. Let's hit the road. Nice, Pull all the leaves into the road. <laughs> yeah, they've only had that freezer, I don't even think, not even three years. It's, I have to look at the actual date it was purchased. They got the year 2015. I think they said, yeah, it wasn't keeping cold in the hot summers. Well, I can understand that. Garages are not well insulated. So, yeah, they got themselves a 10 cubic foot, which is much larger. Apparently, it's more heavy duty. And I told them, you know, they make rolls of. Uh, insulation that you can put around appliances because I know there's some insulation around the hot water heater in the mega shed and when it gets really cold in that room it keeps that hot water heater really hot so you know that's always an option because our summers here are brutal you know 90s with heat humidity and sometimes we get up we cross the century mark so it does it gets kind of brutal in summertime from June July and August Sometimes into the, well, really, sometimes even May and the first part of September. So, but yeah, I may, I'm still debating on what I'm going to do with it, but uh, if I can hold on to it, I may hold on to it. Otherwise, I'll just sell it. You know, I'm sure I can pull a hundred out of it, being, as, being it's only three years old. So, Oh, well, we'll see. Uh, now there's kids out getting ready to play some soccer themselves, I guess. Hope the rain doesn't wash that out. All right, we'll take another way home instead of the back road. Not too many winding roads and stuff, so. The old tractor for sale. I don't know where the horsies went, but they're not, oh, they're back over. There's another couple horses. 
Yeah. Looks like dude's hauling himself a golf cart bowl. Yeah, fancy. Uh, stuck behind a slow Toyota. Make the signal here. Yeah, I think we can. Shell is 219. the dirt pile and rock pile and mulch piles, Whee, lumber yard, fancy schmancy. Oh good, now we're catching up on Walmart traffic, awesome. Just beautiful. Whee, go to Walmart there, boy. That Walmart's packed on a Saturday. Oh yeah, it is. Redneck getting out of my way. Good job. Take the spot while I got the opportunity. Nice. Signal's working with me. All right. Sales of Velister, whatever the hell that is. Winner. Ooh. Slow as crap. Awesome. Yep, he wants to speed up, then slow down. Just love people like that. Yeah, they really make my day. What a maroon, this stupid copper color car is. Cutting people off. I'm going to get stuck behind a slow Nissan, I guess. Awesome. What do we got for gas at the old QT? Yeah, I can't see it from here. No idea. Uh, what is this maroon doing? Checking out the gas prices. It's only 222 at the Mr. Express. So move along unless you're gonna get gas. Good, go to the post office. Yeah, just get out of my way. What you doing? Yeah, we got ourselves a Lee's convenience store. Yeah, they don't sell gas there. Oh well. Okay, we got more slow pokes. Huh, so it is on a Saturday. happening at the old KFC. Doesn't look too busy. Huh. There's another Dollar General. Got a lot of them here. Now hiring. Senior home care. Hmm. Slow drive home. There's the old Ebenezer Grill. That's pretty busy. They got some of the best hot dogs in town. Of course, I'm not really a hot dog fan. And of course, the signal's not going to help us either. Awesome. Woo, South State Bank, 57 degrees. I'm supposed to get near 70, but the clouds seem to be keeping things from warming up. It's the old 7 Eleven gas. 229. Wow. Always high on this side of town. I don't get it. It's a pretty blue Mazda there, Bo, with a looks like a fertilizer thing in the back. Arrow's working with us. Awesome. Shit goes to 29 as well. Huh. Okay, make 
make up your mind. Pet supermarket. And the old Starbucks. There's a beautiful looking paint job like somebody got hit by the car. <laughs> oh, what the hell's going on here? Wow. You gotta be kidding me, really? Damn, we got a big accident. Uh, I gotta turn around because this ain't gonna work. Wow. Yeah, I gotta take another way to get to my house. Actually, can I go through there? Yes, I can. Cut through the Starbucks. Around this way. Mail truck. What's up there, motorcycle dude? Yeah, I'll take this side road. I think I'll be able to cut around. Somebody tried to run a red light, it looks like. Got hit head on. Oh boy. Let me go this way and then take a left, if I can even go that way. Wow. Um, I guess we're not going that way, but I still, I think I can go through the parking lot. Holy crap. Wow. Yeah, that car's totaled. Ooh, hit a truck too. Three cars. No kidding. Yeah, we can get out this way. Yeah, just take the detour through the college. I know these little side routes. Yeah, that's not purdy. We'll take a right. Come well, on, you got the green. Must be rubbernecking. Yeah, it don't look pretty. Well, we're about home. That happened just a couple blocks from my house. So, get this chest freezer unloaded. And until the next thrilling video, maybe St. Patrick's Day this evening, adios, Peter dude.